What is kin selection? Kin selection is a version of natural selection that measures success not just by individual reproductive effort. How many fertile offspring produced? But that also includes the number of copies of those genes that are located in close relatives. A parent and child, for example, share about 50% of their gene sequences on average. What happens in a cell if mitochondria are defective? Since mitochondria are the energy producers of a cell, if a cell's mitochondria are defective, any cells that have a high metabolic rate will also be affected. There are metabolic poisons that affect specific aspects of mitochondrial function. These include cyanide, dinitrophenol, an ingredient of early diet drugs, valinomycin, and gramicidin. If mitochondria are damaged, they begin to leak free radicals that can alter DNA. Because mitochondria have their own DNA, it is also possible for them to be altered by genetic mutations. Mutations in mitochondrial genes are thought to play a role in degenerative neurological diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. HAT is the historical evidence of a genetic disease? One example of historical evidence of a genetic disease is found in Egyptian art of 3,500 years ago that shows Akhenaten, pharaoh of Egypt during the 18th dynasty. Akhenaten is depicted as a man with a sharp chin, almond-shaped eyes, full lips, long arms and fingers, and enlarged breasts. One early statue shows the king in the nude and without genitalia. These features have intrigued archaeologists, and two theories have been proposed for his odd appearance. One is that Akhenaten suffered from either Frulich syndrome or Marfan syndrome. Frulich syndrome is an endocrine disorder found most commonly in men. This disorder affects development of secondary sex characteristics, which fits some of the characteristics associated with Akhenaten's appearance. However, Akhenaten, although he had some feminine characteristics, was known to have fathered at least six children. And he was not retarded, another characteristic of Frulich syndrome. The more likely possibility is Marfan syndrome, which results in patients with long fingers. Skeletal abnormalities, but normal intelligence and fertility. Also, evidence suggests that the rest of his family apparently showed some of these traits. Suggesting that he had a genetic disorder. Who was Darwin's bulldog? Thomas Huxley, 1825-1895, was a staunch supporter of Darwin's work, in fact. Huxley wrote a favorable review of Darwin's On the Origin of Species that appeared soon after its publication. 
When the firestorm of controversy began after the appearance of Darwin's book, Huxley was ready and able to defend Darwin. Whose chronic public reticence about his theories was at that time exacerbated by illness. Huxley's defense of Darwin was so vigorous during a debate with Bishop Samuel Wilberforce, 1805-1873. At the British Association for the Advancement of Science in 1860 that he earned the title Darwin's Bulldog. What is a knockout mouse? A knockout mouse is a mouse that has specific genes mutated, knocked out. So that the lack of production of the gene product can be studied in an animal model. Knockout mice are frequently used in pharmaceutical studies to test. The potential for a particular human enzyme as a therapy target. Mice have identical or nearly identical copies of human proteins. Making them useful in studies that model effects in humans. Why do fishes travel in schools? About 80% of the approximately 20,000 fish species travel in schools. Fishes travel in schools for both protection and for efficiency. Safety in numbers, in a school, is a form of predator avoidance. Because trying to catch one fish in a large, moving school can be a difficult for a predator. Secondly, fishes that travel in schools have less drag, friction, and therefore use less energy for swimming. Also, when fishes spawn, a school ensures that some eggs will evade predators and live to form another school. What are the major types of connective tissue and their function? The major types of connective tissue are, 1, loose connective tissue, 2, adipose tissue, 3, blood, 4, collagen, sometimes called fibrous or dense connective tissue, 5, cartilage, and 6, bone. Loose connective tissue is a mass of widely scattered cells whose matrix is a loose weave of fibers. Many of the fibers are strong protein fibers called collagen. Loose connective tissue is found beneath the skin and between organs. It is a binding and packing material whose main purpose is to provide support to hold other tissues and organs in place. Adipose tissue consists of adipose cells in loose connective tissue. Each adipose cell stores a large droplet of fat that swells when fat is stored and shrinks when fat is used to provide energy. Adipose tissue pads and insulates the animal body. Blood is a loose connective tissue whose matrix is a liquid called plasma. Blood consists of red blood cells, erythrocytes, white blood cells, leukocytes, and thrombocytes, or platelets, which are pieces of bone marrow cell. Plasma also contains water, salts, sugars, lipids, and amino acids. 
blood is approximately 55% plasma and 45% formed elements. Blood transports substances from one part of the body to another and plays an important role in the immune system of the animal. Collagen, from the Greek kala, meaning glue, and genos, meaning descent, is a dense connective tissue, also known as fibrous connective tissue. It has a matrix of densely packed collagen fibers. There are two types of collagen, regular and irregular. The collagen fibers of regular dense connective tissue are lined up in parallel. Tendons, which bind muscle to bone, and ligaments, which join bones together, are examples of dense regular connective tissue. The strong covering of various organs, such as kidneys and muscle, is dense irregular connective tissue. Cartilage, from the Latin cartilago, meaning gristle, is a connective tissue with an abundant number of collagen fibers in a rubbery matrix. It is both strong and flexible. Cartilage provides support and cushioning. It is found between the discs of the vertebrae in the spine. Surrounding the ends of joints such as knees, and in the nose and ears. Bone is a rigid connective tissue that has a matrix of collagen fibers embedded in calcium salts. It is the hardest tissue in the body, although it is not brittle. Most of the skeletal system is comprised of bone, which provides support for muscle attachment and protects the internal organs. How did cells evolve? The central criteria for living cells are a membrane capable of separating the inside of the cell from its surroundings, genetic material capable of being reproduced, and the ability to acquire and use energy, metabolism. The Miller-Urey experiment demonstrated that organic molecules, including genetic material, could arise abiotically. Phospholipids, the molecules that comprise all cellular membranes, can spontaneously form spheres when exposed to water. Although no one knows exactly how living cells evolved. These data demonstrate how a part of the scenario may have unfolded. What characteristics do all fungi share? In the earliest classification systems, fungi were classified as plants. The first classification system to recognize fungi as a separate kingdom was proposed in 1,784 researchers identified four characteristics shared by all fungi, fungi lack chlorophyll. The cell walls of fungi contain the carbohydrate chitin, the same tough material a crab shell is made of. Fungi are not truly multicellular since the cytoplasm of one fungal cell mingles with the cytoplasm of adjacent cells, fungi are heterotrophic eukaryotes. Unable to produce their own food from inorganic matter, while plants are autotrophic eukaryotes.
What is the Calvin cycle? Photosynthesis creates reactions that are both light dependent and light independent. The Calvin cycle is part of the reaction that is light independent and occurs in the chloroplast. This cycle is crucial to the capture of carbon dioxide, leading to the formation of sugar, C6H12O6. It is named in honor of Melvin Calvin, 1911-1997, who received the 1961 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for unraveling the process of glucose biosynthesis. What is the most famous roundworm? One soil nematode, Sonorabditus elegans, is widely cultured and has become a model research organism in developmental biology. The study of this animal was begun in 1963 by Sidney Brenner. 1927, who received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2002. The species normally lives in soil but is easily grown in the laboratory in petri dishes. It is only about 0.06 in, 1.5 millimeters, long, has a simple Transparent body consisting of only 959 cells, and grows from zygote to mature adult in only three and a half days. The genome, genetic material, of C. Elegans, consisting of 14,000 genes, was the first animal genome to be completely mapped and sequenced. The small transparent body of this nematode allows researchers to locate cells in which a specific developmentally important gene is active. These cells show up as bright green spots in a photograph because they have been genetically engineered to produce a green fluorescent protein known as GFP. The complete wiring diagram of its nervous system is known. Including all the neurons and all connections between them. Much of the knowledge of nematode genetics and development gained from the study of C. Elegans is transferable to the study of other animals. How are centigrade temperatures converted into Fahrenheit temperatures? The formula for converting centigrade temperatures into Fahrenheit is degree F equals degree C x 9 fifths plus 32. The formula for converting Fahrenheit temperatures into centigrade is degree C, degree F32, X5 ninths. What is evolution? Although it was originally defined in the 19th century as descent with modification. Evolution is currently described as the change in frequency of genetic traits. Also known as the allelic frequency, within populations over time. When was the nucleus first described?
the Scottish botanist Robert Brown. 1773 to 1858, first named and described the nucleus in 1831, while studying orchids. Brown called this structure the nucleus, from the Latin nucula, meaning little nut or kernel. What is Bacheon mimicry? In 1861 Henry Walter Bates, 1825-1892, a British naturalist, proposed that a non-toxic species can evolve, especially in color and color pattern, to look or act like a toxic or unpalatable species in order to avoid being eaten by a predator. The classic example is the viceroy butterfly which resembles the unpalatable monarch butterfly. This is called Bacheon mimicry. Bates is also well known as a colleague of Alfred Russell Wallace. In fact, it was Bates who introduced Wallace to botany and field collecting of animals and plants. Have fungi been effective in biocontrol? Biocontrol is defined as the use of one living organism to kill or control another organism. Fungi that parasitize insects are a valuable weapon for biocontrol. The spores of a parasitic fungus are sprayed on pest insects. The fungus then attacks and controls its host. A fungus was identified as killing populations of silkworms in as early as 1834. The spores of the same fungus are now used as a Mycoinsecticide, a parasitic fungus used to kill insects to control Colorado potato beetles. The spores of other fungi are used to control spittle bugs. Leaf hoppers, citrus rust mites, and other insect pests. What is unusual about the fish tapeworm? The fish tapeworm is the largest cesto that infects humans. It can grow to a length of 66 feet 20 meters. By comparison, the beef tapeworm may only reach a length of 33 feet 10 meters. What is the modern synthesis? In 1942 Julian Huxley, 1887-1975, the grandson of Thomas Huxley, A. K. A. Darwin's Bulldog, published Evolution, The Modern Synthesis. This work, which used discoveries in the areas of population genetics and Mendelian inheritance to reintroduce Darwinian evolution, did much to reassert natural selection as the mechanism of evolution. How does the nervous system of invertebrates differ from that of vertebrates? The least complex nervous system is the nerve net of nadarians such as hydras. 
The nerve net is a network of neurons located throughout the radially symmetric body. The neurons are in contact with one another and with muscle fibers within epidermal cells. These animals lack a head and brain. Invertebrates that display bilateral symmetry such as planar eons, and lids. And arthropods have a brain, a concentration of neurons at the anterior or head end. And one or more nerve cords and the presence of a central nervous system. Vertebrates have a central nervous system and a peripheral nervous system. Why were the 1950s such an important era of DNA research? In the wake of World War II, when research was primarily driven by wartime need. Researchers returned to basic rather than applied research. The 1950s was a period of intense study as scientists attempted to understand the nature of DNA and the gene. The problem was attacked from both biochemical and structural aspects. Why do enzymes only work in specific environments? Because changes in temperature and pH can cause the structure of a protein to change. Every enzyme has criteria that must be met in order for it to perform its function. For example, the amylase that is active in the mouth cannot function in the acidic environment of the stomach. Pepsin, which breaks down proteins in the stomach, cannot function in the mouth. Can all anabolic steroid use be detected? One of the newest designer steroids is tetrahydrogestrinone, THG. This chemical is not detected by routine urine tests and has been classified as a nutritional supplement. However, according to the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, THG is related to two other synthetic anabolic steroids, gestrinone and trenbolone. Tetrahydrogestrinone is designed to boost muscle mass and strength, however. Dangerous side effects include benign and malignant liver tumors, hepatitis. Aggressive mood swings, decreased fertility, acne, and an increased risk of heart attacks. A new test has been developed that can detect THG in urine samples. Who was Linus Pauling? Linus Carl Pauling, 1901-1994, the only person to win two, unshared Nobel Prizes. 1954 Prize in Chemistry, 1962 Peace Prize, revolutionized the study of chemistry. Aided the development of molecular biology, and made important advances in medical research. He was responsible for determining the molecular basis of sickle cell anemia. Was one of the scientists engaged in the race to determine the molecular structure of DNA.
and became a strident advocate for the use of large doses of vitamin C to prevent illness. How can a population become reproductively isolated? Reproductive isolation means that individuals of one population are unable to exchange gene sequences. Eggs and sperm, with individuals from another. This means that natural selection will work on the isolated population independently from the rest of the species. Therefore increasing the likelihood that the isolates will become a separate species. Methods by which this can occur include geographic isolation, habitat isolation, and temporal isolation. In other words, two populations can become physically separated by a barrier like an ocean or mountain range. They can use different parts of the same habitat, birds that visit only the tops of trees as opposed to the lower branches. Or they may be active at different times nocturnal and diurnal insects, for example. How does a cell respond to injury? In most tissues, Injured cells die and are subsequently replaced. However, in the case of nervous tissue, where dead cells cannot be replaced, a number of events can occur. Nerve growth factor is produced by adjoining neurons. This can induce sprouting and growth of previously dormant neurons. Why do termites march around a ring made of ink? Termite soldiers and workers are blind and so use pheromones to navigate. Two chemical compounds have already been identified as termite pheromones. It seems likely that the chemical formulation of certain inks contains compounds that mimic these naturally produced signals. What is unusual about cave moss? Cave moss, Schistostega pennata, is a small plant with reflective, subspherical cells at 166 its tips. These cells give off an eerie glow that is gold and green in color. In Japan the plant has been the subject of numerous books, television shows, newspaper and magazine articles, and even an opera. There is a national monument to this species near the coast of Hokkaido, where it grows near a small cave. What is the oparin haldane hypothesis? In the 1920s, while working independently, Alexandro Parin, 1894-1980, and John Haldane, 1892-1964, both proposed scenarios for the prebiotic conditions on Earth. The conditions that would have allowed organic life to evolve. 
although they differed on details. Both models described an early Earth with an atmosphere containing ammonia and water vapor. Both also surmised that the assemblage of organic molecules began in the atmosphere and then moved into the seas. The steps of the Opar and Haldane model are described below. 1. Organic molecules including amino acids and nucleotides are synthesized abiotically without living cells. 2. Organic building blocks in the prebiotic soup are assembled into polymers of proteins and nucleic acids. 3. Biological polymers are assembled into a self-replicating organism that fed on the existing organic molecules. How could a human be cloned? Nuclear transplantation or somatic cell nuclear transfer is used to move the cell nucleus and its genetic material from one cell to another. Somatic cell nuclear transfer may be used to make tissue that is genetically compatible with that of the recipient and could be used in the treatment of specific disease. Or, if the material is moved to an egg cell lacking its own nucleus, the transfer could result in the formation of a clone embryo. What is a chromosome map? A chromosome map lists the sequence of genes found on a given chromosome. Chromosome maps are usually determined by breeding experiments in which the ratio of the offspring with certain combinations of traits indicates how far apart those traits are on the chromosome. What is the SI system of measurement? French scientists as far back as the 17th and 18th centuries questioned the hodgepodge of the many illogical and imprecise standards used for measurement. And they began a crusade to make a comprehensive, logical, precise and universal measurement system called System International des Unites, or SI for short. It uses the metric system as its base. Since all the units are in multiples of 10, calculations are simplified. Today, all countries except the United States, Burma, and Liberia use this system. However, some elements within American society do use SI scientists. Exporting slash importing industries and federal agencies as of November 30, 1992. The SI or metric system has seven fundamental standards the meter, for length, the kilogram, for mass, the second, for time, the ampere, for electric current, the Kelvin, for temperature, the candela, for luminous intensity, and the mole, for amount of substance. In addition, two supplementary units the radian, plane angle, and steradian, solid angle. And a large number of derived units compose the current system, which is still evolving.
Some derived units, which use special names, are the hertz, newton, pascal, joule, watt, coulomb, volt, farad, ohm, siemens, weber, tesla, henry, lumen, lux, becquerel, gray, and sievert. The C's unit of volume or capacity is the cubic decimeter, but many still use liter in its place. Very large or very small dimensions are expressed through a series of prefixes, which increase or decrease in multiples of 10. For example, a decimeter is one tenth of a meter. A centimeter is one slash one hundred of a meter, and a millimeter is one slash one thousand of a meter. A decameter is ten meters, a hectometer is one hundred meters, and a kilometer is one thousand meters. The use of these prefixes enables the system to express these units in an orderly way and avoid inventing new names and new relationships. How do the great whales compare in weight and length? What is the fastest swimming whale? The orca or killer whale, or sinus orca, is the fastest swimming whale. In fact, it is the fastest swimming marine mammal with speeds that reach 31 miles per hour, 50 kilometers per hour. Can an innocent person be convicted based on DNA analysis? Current methods of DNA analysis are very sensitive, as only a few cells are needed for DNA extraction. However, it is possible for an innocent person's DNA to be found at any crime scene. Either from accidental deposition or by direct deposition by a third party. Also, a partial DNA profile from a crime scene could match that of an innocent person whose DNA is already in a DNA data bank. In addition, close relatives of SU suspected criminals could also be partial matches to a DNA profile. What is the Human Genome Project, HGP, and what are its goals? The HGP was begun in 1990 as a 13-year effort and was slated to be completed in 2003. According to the official HGP website, http colon slash slash www.doganomes.org, the goals are as follows. Identify all of the approximately 30,0040,000 genes. In human DNA determine the sequence of the 3 billion chemical pairs of human DNA store this. Information in public databases improve tools for data analysis transfer related technologies to. The private sector address the ethical, legal and social issues that may stem from the project. Which antibiotic is considered the last resort for treating? Resistant strains of staphylococcal and enterococcal infections?
staphylococcal and enterococcal infections often have to be treated with vancomycin. As this antibiotic is lethal to these resistant strains of bacteria often found in hospitals. Until recently, vancomycin was effective against these resistant pathogens. However, in the late 1980s a vancomycin resistant strain of Enterococcus developed and began posing a threat to hospital patients and the healthcare community. Researchers continue to chemically alter the vancomycin molecule to help it remain effective as the antibiotic of last resort. Is there a link between antibiotic use in animal feed and the increase in bacterial infections becoming resistant to antibiotics in humans? Scientists have discovered a link between agricultural use of antibiotics, particularly in animal feed and the increase of foodborne infections in humans who consume products derived from these animals. Resistant bacteria present in animals can survive the slaughtering and meat packaging process. Undercooked meat will harbor these bacteria and when eaten can cause illness in humans. To further complicate the situation, the antibiotics used to treat humans made ill by Infections may be similar to those used routinely in animals, rendering them less effective. How many classes of internal membrane-bound structures are found in eukaryotic cells? There are two classes of internal membrane-bound structures in eukaryotic cells. There are discrete organelles such as mitochondria, chloroplasts, and peroxisomes. Then there is the dynamic endomembrane system nuclear membrane, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, and vacuoles. When a plant is said to be double dormant, what does that mean? Plants that are double dormant require a unique sort of layering or stratification in order for their seeds to germinate. The seeds of these plants must have a period of warmth and moisture followed by a cold spell. Both the seed coat and the seed embryo require this double dormancy if they are to germinate. In nature, this process usually takes two years. Some well-known plants that live the life of double dormancy include lilies. Dogwoods, junipers, lilacs, tree peonies, and viburnums. What is the largest group of insects that have been identified and classified? The largest group of insects that has been identified and classified is the order Coleoptera. Beetles, weevils, and fireflies, with some 350,000 to 400,000 species. Beetles are the dominant form of life on Earth, as one of every five living species is a beetle. What is the definition of behavior?
In its broadest sense, behavior covers all kinds of movement and responses to environmental changes. In other words, behavior is the term used to describe what an animal does. Do whales really talk to one another? Whales produce low-frequency sounds that allow them to communicate across long distances. Recent research has found that among the fin whales, only males produce these calls. The long low-frequency sounds of male fin whales attract females to patches of food. Where mating can then occur. This means that the increasing amounts of sonar activity from ships in the ocean may interfere with the ability of these males to find mates, and therefore threatens the species' survival. How do prions work? Scientists have not discovered exactly how prions work. Current research shows that prions accumulate in lysosomes. In the brain, it is possible that the filled lysosomes burst and damage cells. As diseased cells die, the prions contained in the cells are released and are able to attack other cells. What is the scientific method? The scientific method is the basis of scientific investigation. A scientist will pose a question and formulate a hypothesis. As a potential explanation or answer to the question. The hypothesis will be tested through a series of experiments. The results of the experiments will either prove or disprove the hypothesis. Hypotheses that are consistent with available data are conditionally accepted. What is the difference between an African elephant and an Indian elephant? The African elephant, Loxodonta africana, is the largest living land animal. Weighing up to 8.25 tons, 7,500 kilograms, and standing 10 to 13 feet, 3 to 4 m, at the shoulder. The Indian elephant, Elephas maximus, weighs about 6 tons, 5,500 kilograms, with a shoulder height of 10 feet 3 meters. What are plasmadesmata? Plasmadesmata are present in plant cells, they are channels or canals that occur in the cell wall. Connecting the cytoplasms of adjacent cells. They allow molecules direct communication through adjacent cells. Plant cells are united into functioning tissues by plasmadesmata. What diseases have been linked to prions?
it is thought that prions are responsible for the group of brain. Diseases known as transmissible spongiform encephalopathies, says. This group includes the disease that is referred to as bovine spongiform encephalopathy. Mad cow disease, when it occurs in cattle and Kreutzfeldt-Jakob disease when it occurs in humans. Which fiber has the longest fiber cells? Rami, Bamaria Navia, has the longest fiber cells with lengths of more than 12 in, 30 centimeters, long. Often used in fabric, these fibers are also stronger than cotton fibers. What do proteins do? In a word, everything. Proteins allow life to exist as we know it. They are the enzymes that are required for all metabolic reactions. They are also important to structures like muscles, and act as both transporters and signal receptors. How do antibiotics differ from antibacterials? Antibiotics and antibacterials both interfere with the growth and reproduction of bacteria. Antibiotics are medications for humans and animals. Antibacterials, found in soaps, detergents, health and skincare products, and household cleaners, are used to disinfect surfaces and eliminate potentially harmful bacteria. Can humans make all the lipids they need? No. There are two types of fatty acids that we need but can't make, linoleic acid and omega-6 fatty acid, and linolenic acid, which is also known as an omega-3 fatty acid. These acids are used to maintain cell membranes and to build hormone-like messengers known as eicosanoids. Eicosanoids are 20 carbon fatty acids examples include leukotrienes and prostaglandins. Good sources of omega-3 and omega-6 lipids are nuts, grains, and both fats and oils from vegetables or fish. What are migratory beekeepers? A migratory beekeeper is a person who transports his or her bee colonies to different areas to produce better honey or to collect fees for pollinating such crops as fruit trees, almonds, and alfalfa. The beekeepers frequently travel north in the spring and summer to pollinate crops and then back south in the fall and winter to maintain the colonies in the warmer southern weather. Approximately 1,000 migratory beekeepers operate in the United States. Transporting approximately 2 million bee colonies a year.
What are the main characteristics of animals? Animals are a very diverse groups of organisms, but all of them share a number of characteristics. Animals are multicellular eukaryotes that are heterotrophic, ingesting and digesting food inside the body. Animal cells lack the cell walls that provide support in the bodies of plants and fungi. Most animals have muscle systems and nervous systems. Responsible for movement and rapid response to stimuli in their environment. In addition, most animals reproduce sexually with the diploid stage dominating the life cycle. In most species a large, non-modal egg is fertilized by a small, flagellated sperm, thus forming a diploid zygote. The transformation of a zygote to an animal of specific form depends on the controlled expression in the developing embryo of special regulatory genes. What is the difference between simple leaves and compound leaves? The blades of simple leaves are undivided, although they may have deep lobes. By contrast, the blades of compound leaves consist of clearly separated leaflets. Each leaflet usually has its own petiole, which is called a petiolule. There are two types of compound leaves, pinnately compound leaves and pomately compound leaves. The leaflets in pinnately compound leaves arise from either side of an axis called the rachis, which is an extension of the petiole. The leaflets in pomately compound leaves originate at the tip of the petiole and lack the rachis. Do all cells have a nucleus? Prokaryotic cells do not have an organized nucleus. Most eukaryotic cells have a single organized nucleus. Red blood cells are the only mammalian cells that do not have a nucleus. What is golden rice? In 2000 scientists used three genes, two from a daffodil and one from a bacterium, to create a rice variety that contained beta-carotene. The importance of this is that in the human body, beta-carotene is converted to vitamin A. A crucial vitamin missing from the diet of millions of poor people around the world. Lack of vitamin A causes the death of an estimated 1 million of Asia's poorest children due to weakened immune systems, vitamin A deficiency is also linked to blindness. The rice was called golden rice because it turned yellow like a daffodil. When offered a choice between plastic or paper bags for your groceries, which should you choose? The answer is neither. Both are environmentally harmful, and the question of which is the more damaging has no clear-cut answer. 
On one hand, plastic bags degrade slowly in landfills and can harm wildlife if swallowed. And producing them pollutes the environment. On the other hand, producing the brown paper bags used in. Most supermarkets uses trees and pollutes the air and water. Overall, white or clear polyethylene bags require less energy for manufacture and cause less damage to the environment than do paper bags not made from recycled paper. Instead of having to choose between paper and plastic bags, you can bring your own reusable canvas or string containers to the store. And you can save and reuse any paper or plastic bags you get. How does phenotype relate to genotype? The phenotype is the physical manifestation of the genotype and the polypeptides it codes for. Consider the rose. The color and shape of the petals, the phenotype, are the result of chemical reactions within the cells of each petal. Polypeptides synthesized from the directions encoded within the cell's genes. The genotype are part of those reactions. Different versions of a gene will produce different polypeptides, which in turn will cause different molecular interactions and ultimately a different phenotype. How do cells communicate with each other? Cells communicate with each other via small signaling molecules that are produced by specific cells and received by target cells. This communication system operates on both a local and long distance level. The signaling molecules can be proteins, fatty acid derivatives, or gases. Nitric oxide is an example of a gas that is part of a locally based signaling system and is able to signal for a human's blood pressure to be lowered. Hormones are long distance signaling molecules that must be transported via the circulatory system from their production site to their target cells. Plant cells because of their rigid cell walls. Have cytoplasmic bridges called plasmadesmata that allow cell-to-cell -cell communication. Animals use gap junctions to transfer material between adjacent cells. Who were the founders of modern bacteriology? German bacteriologist Robert Koch, 1843 to 1910, and French chemist Louis Pasteur, 1822 to 1895, are considered the founders of bacteriology. In 1864, Pasteur devised a way to slowly heat foods and beverages to a temperature that was high enough to kill most of the microorganisms that would cause spoilage and disease. But would not 90 ruin or curdle the food. This process is called pasteurization. By demonstrating that tuberculosis was an infectious disease caused by a specific species of bacillus. Cook in 1882 set the groundwork for public health. 
measures that would go on to significantly reduce the occurrences of many diseases. His laboratory procedures, methodologies for isolating microorganisms, and four postulates for determining agents of disease gave medical investigators valuable insights into the control of bacterial infections. How are anabolic steroids harmful to those who use them? Anabolic, protein building. Steroids are drugs that mimic the effects of testosterone and other male sex hormones. They can build muscle tissue, strengthen bone, and speed muscle recovery following exercise or injury. They are sometimes prescribed to treat some types of anemia as well as osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. Anabolic steroids have become a lightning rod of controversy in competitive sports. The drugs are banned from most organized competitions because of the dangers. They pose to health and to prevent athletes from gaining an unfair advantage. Adverse effects of anabolic steroids include hypertension, acne, edema, and damage to liver, heart, and adrenal glands. Psychiatric symptoms can include hallucinations, paranoid delusions, and manic episodes. In men anabolic steroids can cause infertility, impotence, and premature balding. Women can develop masculine characteristics such as excessive hair growth. Male pattern balding, disruption of menstruation, and deepening of the voice. Children and adolescents can develop problems in growing bones, leading to short stature. What is the Darwin-Wallace theory? The Darwin-Wallace theory can be summarized as the following. Species as a whole demonstrate descent with modification from common ancestors. And natural selection is the sum of the environmental forces that drive those modifications. The modifications or adaptations make the individuals in the population better suited to survival in their environment, more fit as it were. The four postulates presented by Darwin in On the Origin of Species by Natural Selection are as follows. 1. Individuals within species are variable. 2. Some of these variations are passed on to offspring. 3. In every generation more offspring are produced than can survive. 4. The survival and reproduction of individuals are not random, the individuals who survive and go on to reproduce the most are those with the most favorable variation. They are naturally selected. It follows. Logically from these that the characteristics of the population will change with each subsequent generation. Until the population becomes distinctly different from the original, this process is known as evolution. What is the difference between a virus and a viroid? Viroids are small fragments of nucleic acid, RNA, without a protein code. 
they are Yusu ally associated with plant diseases and are several thousand times smaller than a virus. What is a vector? A vector is an agent used to carry genes into another organism. Specific examples of natural vectors include plasmids or viruses. In human gene therapy, Vector viruses must be able to withstand the challenge of the patient's immune system. Once the vector manages to invade the immune system, it must be able to penetrate the cell membrane and finally, must be able to combine its genome into that of the host cell. Vectors are also crucial to plant and animal genetic engineering. What is a karyotype? A karyotype is a snapshot of the genome. A karyotype can be used to detect extra or missing chromosomes. Chromosomal rearrangements, or chromosomal breaks. Any cell that contains a nucleus can be used to make a karyotype. However, white blood cells seem to work best for human karyotypes. After the cells are cultured, they are killed by using a drug that halts mitosis. And the chromosomes are then stained, observed, and a size order chart is produced. What is a Flavor SAVR tomato? The Flavor Savor tomato was produced in response to consumer complaints that tomatoes were either too rotten to eat when they arrived at the store or too green. Growers had found that they could treat green tomatoes in the warehouse with ethylene. A gas that causes the tomato skin to turn red. However, the tomato itself stayed hard. In the late 1980s researchers at Colgene, a small biotech company, discovered that the enzyme polygalactouronase, PG, controlled rotting in tomatoes. The scientists reversed the DNA sequence of PG, the effect was that tomatoes turned red on the vine and yet the skin of the tomatoes remained tough enough to withstand the mechanical pickers. However, before the Flavre Savre tomato was introduced to the market, Colgene disclosed to the public how the tomato was bioengineered. This caused a public protest that led to a worldwide movement against genetically modified organisms, GMO. How does the iodine test detect starch? Starch is a coiled polymer of glucose. Iodine reacts with the coiled molecules and turns bluish-black when added to a solution. A solution that remains a yellowish-brown color is a negative test for starch. Whereas one that turns bluish-black is a positive test for starch. What is DNA methylation?
DNA methylation is a modification of DNA in which methyl, CH3. Groups are added to certain positions on the nitrogen bases. In bacteria, adenine and cytosine are commonly methylated. While in eukaryotic cells, cytosine is most commonly methylated. In eukaryotic cells, methylation is a method of inhibiting gene expression. What is the origin of the name Hydra? Hydra, a well-known member of phylum Nidaria is a tiny 0.4 in or 1 cm in length, organism found in freshwater ponds. It exists as a single polyp that sits on a basal disc that it uses to glide around. It can also move by somersaulting. It usually has 6 to 10 tentacles, which it uses to capture food. Hydras reproduce both sexually and asexually, budding. Hydras are named after the multi-headed monster of Greek mythology. That was able to grow two new heads for each head cut off. When a hydra is cut into several pieces. Each piece is able to regrow all the missing parts and become a whole animal. Where do cancer cells come from? When the reproductive rate of cells exceeds their death rate, the tissue becomes enlarged, forming a tumor. Although these cells are initially identical to the others in the tissue, they gradually take on characteristics of malignancy. The cancer cells reproduce rapidly and tend to be abnormally large or small. Malignant tumors grow 78 very quickly and invade other tissues. Cancer types are named for the location of the tissue that gives rise to the tumor and the organs involved. Genetics, viruses, or even environmental exposure to substances. Like those in cigarette smoke may cause tumor formation. However, not all tumors are malignant. Tumors that grow within a well-defined capsule are benign and unlikely to be life-threatening. Is the same strain of yeast used to make lager and ale beers? Two common strains of yeast are used to ferment beer. Saccharomyces carlsbergensis and Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Saccharomyces carlsbergensis, also known as bottom yeast, sinks to the bottom of the fermentation vat. Strains of bottom yeast ferment best at 42.8 to 53.6 degrees Fahrenheit. 6 to 12 degrees Celsius, and take 8 to 14 days to produce lager beer. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, also known as top fermenting yeast, is distributed throughout wort and is carried to the top of the fermenting vat by carbon dioxide, CO2. Top fermenting yeast ferments at a higher temperature, 57.2 to 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit 14 to 23 degrees Celsius, over only 5 to 7 days. Top fermenting yeasts produce ales, porter, and stout beers.
What is a Petri dish, and who developed it? A Petri dish is a shallow dish consisting of two round, overlapping halves. The Petri dish is used to grow bacteria and other microorganisms on a solid culture medium, usually nutrient agar. The top of the dish is larger than the bottom so that when the dish is closed, a strong seal is created, preventing contamination of the culture. This device was developed in 1887 by Julius Richard Petrie, 1852 to 1921. A member of Robert Cox Laboratory. Petri dishes are very easy to use, can be stacked on each other to save space. And are one of the most common items in a microbiology laboratory. Which important pharmacological compound was once obtained from the gymnosperm ephedra? In the past, the drug ephedrine, used in the treatment of respiratory problems, was extracted from species of the genus ephedra, common name, mahuang, found in China. This process has now been largely replaced with the preparation of synthetic ephedrines. Ephedra was a dietary supplement used to aid weight loss, enhance sports performance, and increase energy. In late 2003 the U.S. Food and Drug Administration banned the use of ephedra as a dietary supplement because it can pose an unreasonable health risk. What is the law of independent assortment? This Mendelian principle deals with the prediction of the outcome of dihybrid, two trait, crosses. Such as the traits for seed shape, R equals round and R equals wrinkled, and seed color, G equals green and G equals yellow. If two true breeding plants are crossed, RRGG x RRGG. Then all offspring would be heterozygous for both genes, RRGG, and would be round and green. By crossing these first generation offspring, referred to as the F1 generation. Among themselves, four phenotypic and nine genotypic classes are generated. From this, Mendel concluded that traits are transmitted to offspring independently of one another. In other words, the separation of alleles for one trait does not influence or control the distribution of alleles from the second trait. This law holds true as long as the two traits in question are located on separate chromosomes or are so distant from each other on the same chromosome that they sort independently.